quite an hour of qualifying with the GTs unleashed first of all it was all about being as front and centre of the queue as possible Michael Fassbender early pace looked promising he was running in third position in one of the Proton competition Porsches but pace still there in actually what would turn out to be one of the sister cars at Proton as the 93 headed through the Lotel corner. Ferrari 55, Duncan Cameron surely his best showing of the season so far and for a couple of years actually. The Brit held heading from Cheshire in the UK in the 55 Spirit of Race Ferrari bagged a front row start in GTE. But Christian Reed, the ever present in the World Endurance Championship and from ELMS seasons gone by as well. Another pole position to add to the tally after Monza last year being his last effort. There were the hiccup here and there including running wide coming through Virage de l'Hotel in the early part of the lap but he gathered things together and put the car between the two white lines to come out on pole position for tomorrow's big race and high fives all around Proton competition. LMP3 we moved on swiftly with a whole load of Ligiers in this category and only a couple of Duquesne M30s all powered by the same Nissan power plant the seven car with early good speed for Nielsen racing that was Ryan Harper Ellum installed but Glenn von Berlo the 21 year old from the Netherlands in car number 10 in that deep blue for Euro International looked like he may well have done enough because coming through the final sequence of corners very neat and tidy indeed and there were mere tenths in it but nobody in Elysia counted for this car the number 12 Duquesne piloted by the star from Colombia, Oscar Tuño, who is new to the championship for this year, but the Wokenspiegel team Monschau with Ronaldi racing car with Oscar Tuño at the wheel, the silver rated driver, left it very late. The final tour, in fact, for car 12 and the Duquesne bagging pole position in LMP3 in a hard fought session which continued to get quicker and quicker throughout. And that's what it meant to WTM with Ronaldi racing as they celebrated in their garage. We move then on to LMP2, remember two pronged in 2023 with first of all 11 Pro-Am cars sent out into the session and because these are Pro-Ams it is the bronze driver that must do the qualifying similar to the GTE category. 24 with early good pace similar to LMP3 actually, it's another uh, Nielsen racing car for Rodrigo Sales up to speed, 99 Proton competition car driven by Giorgio Roda who comes from a big stock of the Roda family and he would be quick enough for second in the end but Sally Jolic up to his old antics from Barcelona managed of course to get an overall victory in Spain but he started from pole position in the LMP2 Pro-Am category uh, what was it about uh, three months ago when we started this championship this is only round two Sally Yolich repeating that feat and a pole position for the number 34 car. There was then a bit of a wait before the final batch of cars for LMP2, seven of them with the 65 car. After, de after a delay, there was a red flag in the session because of bad luck for Oli Jarvis in the number 22 United Order Sports car. But it's 65 and Panis racing with Jop van Outert who took pole position to uh, really notch up a, a really good result for the Dutchman and the French squad. Edex Sport, the number 28 car where they put out specialists around this track, Paul-Luc Chatin, the man from Dordain in France and uh, Chatin. Uh, again, put the pace down early on, but he didn't quite reckon for the speed of the Argentinian driver, Jose Maria Lopez, the Toyota factory driver that Cool Racing have signed for six races in the ELMS this year. And Lopez finding all the speed in that final sector to bag pole position.